Hey there, one up in here coming with the sixth of remaking Vampire Survivors in Game Maker. And today we're gonna do a weapon system and the idea behind is that we are having slots and these slots are kind of placeholders where you can have different kind of weapons. So let's say your first weapon is can be or uh, be I don't know the slash and the second one can be a hammer maybe the second one is a fireball or whatever and therefore um, the idea in vampire survivors is that you have your power fantasy and slot things on the way and of course upgrade that so if you want to follow me on this small journey then stick around this is one up indie I am a developer so if you like what you're hearing and seeing then why not consider sharing liking and subscribing to the channel of course what you're seeing in front of you is basically what we are doing in the end i will add another weapon which will be kind of similar so let's go into our player and let's do some housekeeping so what is the deal so first of all let's change a few things let's make those timers so time here and time there into a race why do i say that because later on it's kind of easier for us because we want to make this a little bit modular and therefore we just have to swap the index because well, the variable is more or less the same but the index is, is different. So for example this is for 0, this is for 1 and so on and so on. And then of course we can add our third dude if we like. So here we go and then an alarm event which is like this. But of course now we would be breaking our thing. Why do I say that? Well, because it's true. Because let's say if we are in here, yep, let's uh, swap that. So basically now just for housekeeping, so I don't break everything at once, which happens in programming quite a lot. And for now, um, nothing is basically changing. We got our alarm events and we got our um, user events, which are just spawn the weapon, which we want. But now we want to have a slotted thing so slot and then once again zero and then hopefully you understand where this is going so for example these are our times and then uh, refreshing the alarm and this is actually what's inside so the so first one is slash boom and then the second one is a hammer and for now, once again, only variables, they do nothing. But what we can actually do is go into our alarm events and not instantly trigger a user event, just trigger the user event which we want. So how do we do this? We just say like switch. So this is hopefully not too advanced, but nah, it shouldn't be. So basically we're just going into uh, the slot and then once again, it has a string in there. And then we're just saying like, hey, case, so is, this thing maybe a slash break then we say sweet um, slash is always user event zero which we want to trigger but for example but if it's the hammer then actually trigger user event one and then for example we can actually do this for our fireball which will be the last one fire come on and then this will for example trigger the last user event and now technically nothing really has changed but we can use this thing here copy paste it and use it actually in our second alarm but now in our slot one because it's alarm one slot one and then once again oh, that's not correct and then um, for example once we started nothing would change so let's check out if we completely messed up the whole project but we shouldn't so as you can see nothing has really changed on slot zero we got our uh, slash and then on slot one we got our hammer being thrown jolly around so here once again easy peasy stuff and this is basically the system how you can advance swap or maybe add new things into your uh, dynamically into your player so normally you would do that on the outside controller object uh, we just do it the lazy and easy way and then our object player is actually holding all that stuff together so we can actually do that for our last thing but for example here we could for example keep keep it um, 
you know open so basically the string doesn't match match any of those three and then what we would be having is an alarm event so let's go for example create an alarm event copy paste all that stuff and now we would create an empty alarm event so, and then uh, because you are alarm 2 index 2 index 2 and now this would be looping all the time even though nothing is in there because we are not hitting any of those well things and then we are not creating uh, or not just jumping into a user event so hopefully now you understand how things are going with that so here once again pretty sweet stuff and then for example let's create our own last weapon which is of course optional you can skip that i guess in the time code and then we just call that the fireball and then of course we need to create that also but not hammer fireball here we go uh, come on replace that here give it a correct sprite because it should be looking better then once again the hammer is being destroyed once it's outside of the view so if it's falling down somewhere here it's gone this is good do we want to spin it no here we delete that dude and then for example what we can do here um, first of all call it a fireball because because that's what it is and for that we just need I don't know the speed and the direction and basically what we could do is spawn it randomly 360 maybe later on we will refine it to uh, to the nearest target but I don't want to blow and make the uh, well, I don't want to blow the whole project out of proportions and make it unnecessarily difficult. So once again, what we are doing here is our third weapon and then boom, this is the way it goes. But for now, when you, for example, start it, it only our first two weapons would be there. So how could we make kind of a, a check system? So just saying like, hey, that's not good enough. Let's create a dummy. So for example, uh, object dummy give it the sprite of the of our fireball place that dude the dummy into the room and then for example we can pick it up so why do I say that because this is the way how we will swap the slots or interact with that of course not like now because this is just for showing so let's go and basically kill that kill that that also because we don't need anything in the dummy and then do we have a parent no we don't have anything like that and then for example what we can do is have a collision with our player and then we just destroy ourselves instance destroy this is of course once again just to keep it clean and neat and what do we want to do well we want to have this slot and change it so what do we do and then let's call it fire ball and of course not in here in here so we just copy paste that and let's check it out if I messed it up so as you can see and now let's try the second one and now we are firing off like crazy <laughs> and then we created basically our third weapon and as you can see now this is the system just with one change of a word and then everything else is getting automated so once again what are we doing we're just going into uh well our alarm 2 because this one which, which we have changed now the word fireball is our slot 2 and boom we are then going into user event 2 which is our fireball then we are doing that and of course uh, let's make this a little bit neater fireball image angle is the same as our direction so because it looks needs to look a little bit nicer so let's check this out so as you can see once again and then we are adding this new weapon and then it's uh, shooting in the direction where it's supposed to be nice have a good one one up indie